Jenny and I are up here on the, um, the South Tetons and uh, we're uh, um, following up on some sighting reports. We're on a scouting mission this weekend um, and we're going to, to sighting locations. We're up on uh, King Peak, uh, excuse me, uh, King Snow Mountain. It's uh, just right by uh, Jackson Hole, Wyoming. Um, the sighting report happened uh, June 18th, um, 1980. And uh, it's a police report that I'm going off of. It's a police report that I found that uh, these two gentlemen went up the mountain to go camp with a buddy that had built a lean-to up on uh, King Snow Peak. And uh, they didn't make it to the lean-to. Um, a creature come after them that they say was 12 feet tall, hunched back. Um, it was black, black long hair they said, and its arms almost reached the ground and it was making um, uh, moaning like growl noises at them as it chased them off the mountain. And uh, uh, by the time they made it down to Jackson, Wyoming, it was dark and it chased them down into the streets of Jackson, Wyoming, they claim. So we're up on uh, Snow Peak Mountain, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, King Snow Peak Mountain, sorry, I'm, I'm not I'm familiar with it. Maybe if we find some uh, evidence up here, I'll become familiar with it, but we're on a scouting mission uh, to find physical evidence in these uh, uh, sighting locations. Um, we had uh, three or four uh, sighting report locations in mind uh, to check out. And, uh, on this trip, we've actually, I think this is our fifth one, so we're doing pretty good this weekend, but it's these scouting missions that really help us narrow down hot spots. Once we start finding the physical uh, evidence and start following it, um, we start coming to areas that uh, the Sasquatch, uh, excuse me, go too frequently. Um, there's several areas uh, that uh, we uh, uh, frequent all the time now because uh, they're hot spots and we find a lot of physical evidence out of them. Um, everybody knows about Rough Hollow, Yellowstone Canyon, Bear Wallow. Um, we even go to Six Bits. Um, we go uh, to um, St. Charles Canyon. That's in Idaho. Um, yes, tell the camera, Green's Canyon. Um, Green Canyon's a favorite of ours. As a matter of fact, in uh, Bear, uh, excuse me, Beaver Creek and Green Canyon. Uh, last year on the west side of Bear Lake, um, we heard uh, three banshee like screams in two nights, and that was an exciting hot spot. So uh, we're out here doing some scouting, and maybe we'll be able to zero in on a productive spot like some of those places I've named. But um, we're uh, up here on uh, King's Snow Peak Mountain. And this is supposedly a 12 foot tall creature. I mean, it's not my sighting. I'm up here investigating a sighting. I know it happened a long time ago, but uh, in our experience, if a Bigfoot is seen in an area several times over several years, they keep coming back to that area for a reason. And I'm sure it's food and water. Or their pod. Right. And I'm gonna pick up the camera for a minute and I'm gonna point it towards Jackson for you guys. Um, the valley of uh, Jackson Hole is right below us, and I'll just spin that around carefully, kind of pan around, and there's some Teton peaks and stuff over there for you guys, and let's, sorry, I got the camera angled funny. That valley down there is Jackson. I mean, it followed them all the way down to the streets of Jackson, and then I'm going to pan around real slow for you all. We're on the south side of the Tetons, and that was our scouting mission today. There's some of the Teton peaks over there. And there's Jenny. And that's the story behind our scouting mission right here. November 2nd, 2013. 